All seven billion of us have several things we want in common. First of all, we want to be healthy. And many people who talk about being healthy talk about being physically healthy and they leave everything else out. I include everything. So we want to be physically healthy. We want to be spiritually healthy. We want to be mentally healthy. We want a mind that works well. We want a vocation that we love and we want something important to do in this world that we are very, very good at. But in order to get that, we have to have a guide. And here's how this guide came about. I was working on five different writing projects, and my intention was to publish each one. And uh, finally, I said to myself, you know, uh, if you die in six months, which one of these do you want to leave? And this is the one I chose a guide for spiritual living. There are hundreds of suggestions in here for how to improve your life in many ways. Now this book was written for a wide audience. So you may be religious, you may be involved in a faith-based community, you may be spiritual but not religious, or you may be an agnostic or an atheist, but you still want to be healthy as you can in every way, every day. Now, I want to introduce you to Emily and we'll show you how easy it is to use a guide for spiritual living. First of all, she takes a look at the, at the table of contents, and she sees, among other things, that this is a 360-degree view of life. It is not just fixing one thing. It is not just repairing another thing. It's not just improving on one thing. It is taking our entire life into, into view and improving everything. Uh, so she is introduced to the idea that she can actually choose and live her dream life. She also realizes that in order to do that she has to have balance in her life. She needs to add, act, she needs to add exercise because she hasn't done that for a while. But she also needs to calm down and be quiet and slow down so there is meditation. So here's what she has chosen to do. For her body she has decided to take up swimming. For her mind, she has decided to write a journal, and also she has been thinking about doing a novel for several years, but it's always been in the back of her mind, and she didn't get around to it. Now she's going to do that. She is going to choose music that is inspiring and emotional and touching to her, so that when she listens to the music, she either smiles, claps her hands, or tears come to her eyes. It is spiritual music, healing music. It permeates her entire being. And that is why uh, she can use it as a healing form. But all of this had to do with her. And she thinks that there is something missing on that. And so she is now looking for a way to do service to other people. So the idea is for you to use the book and look through the hundreds of suggestions and pick out the things that are specifically perfect for you to do. So if 100 people use this book, there will be 100 different spiritual paths all perfectly designed and created and workable for each individual. Because this is a progression. It isn't something that we get and we stick with the rest of our life. It is, it is mobile. It is fluid. It is flexible. And it is always changeable. So I invite you to get a copy of your own. And in order to do that, here is exactly how you can do that. And also, here is what some other people have said who have already read the book. Thank you. If you are weary and trying to find your way home Well don't give up my friend cause you are not alone In a world full of trouble, you know trouble may find you But I got your medicine baby, this is what you do You got to rise up Cause at the end of the tunnel Someone's been dimming out the light Well you can lose your way And end up far from home But till the day you lose your
your voice You cannot lose your song You gotta rise up Rise up, sing In time this too shall pass You gotta rise up Rise up, sing You know Trouble ain't built to last So long as you're breathing, you know that you are still alive. And when you're standing at the station, waiting for your train, don't you think you'll be singing all oh, that sweet refrain? You gotta rise up, rise up, sing. In time, this too shall pass. Trouble ain't built to live